it's a Pokemon Direct, and I'm gonna watch it. It's been a while since I made a video with a face. As you can see, I'm kind of, you know, this disgraceful. I know, I know, I feel like that. Okay. Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. This is different. This Today, is really different. I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. I don't. To begin, so, wow. please take a look at this video. I'll be back in a minute. Let me fix this quality. Jeez. Okay. Thank you. Alright, another trailer. Alright. This is like an area I've seen in Way Chronicles 1. Okay. Turns down a little bit, but hey, we have battle footage, I guess. Starters. This is probably how you pick them. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so now I have overworld. Oh my god, new Pokemon! Um, Whoa, that's excessive. It also it's a good looking Pokemon to be fair. Oh wow, Roman Pokemon. This reminds me of Yeah. Oh no, we just have a giant Gyarados? This is like a... I don't know what's called it. Mega Evolution was originally going to be, just literally making them bigger? I don't know. This is nothing to look, look at it, just destroy the landscape. Alright, this is what I'm actually, you know, this is what I'm interested in. What is this foot? It's just a, it's just a, it's just a battle. It's just a battle. Okay, it's a different battle. This looks like I don't know, like a rival, like the final. Not the rival. The rival is usually somebody your age. It's like that mental Hello, guy, I'm like Ed. From Game Freak. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. This... the, the guy who's dubbing it sounds a little bit... a little bit weird, in my opinion. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. After the choosing Rookie, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take okay. you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. It's just like any Pokemon. Pokemon thing. battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles. I went to bed as a road zone. On that camera, that drone camera is a road zone. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. Got some names. Got some to tell names. you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Galar region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. It's just a guy hey, called James. Jamie. Does he have a last name? No? It's just James. Hello. 
I'm James Turner from Game Freak. He's English! I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region, but allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. This Pokemon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. Now that's not this very Pokemon vegan. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur. I'm, I'm the joking. flowering Pokemon. I'm joking. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to have healing mm. properties. Water. This next Pokemon is called Dreadnought. Dreadnought. A bite Pokemon. Yeah. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Also, the can't learn bite. nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame. That's crunch. That's not bite. It's crunch. But the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and become Evolution. stronger in the process. Evolution, I hear? Gossifleur one. You is one of these Pokemon. Yeah, it's one of these when many Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves... Gossifleurl. It becomes Eldegoss. Yeah, I got close enough. Oh, it's like an elder As flower. You can see, Get it? There are now small seeds yeah. scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. Growth. That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. Mm. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit no. the Gala region. I know he's not professional at this, but just he sounds so robotic. Why does he sound like they're directly reading from a script? Like, come on, man. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. So it's just... This wild area just stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera. Allowing you to better search for oh, items. That's actually and pretty Pokemon. cool. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the sky, okay, this is above, actually really and cool. even in the lakes, for you never know. It's like an actual open world game. This is like an actual open world game. in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. It's pretty big. Oh, do that the Hi, items thing. I'm Iwao that, yeah, from work. Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Show me the baby. Pokemon from the Gala region can oh, Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. Okay. All oh, the right. moves they know turn into powerful Maximals. Max Splash! I'm sorry. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So. You need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. 
One of these new mm. multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. See. In Max Raid Battles, it the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Because I don't have enough that, friends. It also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one have of these four players switch. who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on mm. these powerful wild Pokemon. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid battles. I love so we Quack hope trainers Sorry. will join forces and test their skills against the variety of Pokemon. Max Raid Battles features strategic, cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokémon, which is a first for the main series of Pokémon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can local. also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. Yeah, that makes sense. So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. My only question is, can we use Pokemon Bank again? Oh, it's is this the same guy? No, no, no. Next, maybe. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the Galar region, and also the current champion. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. Yeah. His name is Hop. Hop dreams okay. to one day become champion just like his elder brother, and okay. he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. Green. His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. Of course it does. This is, it's like... On your journey, you play. and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and specializes Magnolia. in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Is that a tree? I don't Sonia know. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Their abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. And these are probably the gyms. I just, I just clocked. These are probably the Next, gyms. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Galar region. You and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. Yeah, so gyms are back. It's no longer trials. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamax. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them well, some very, of your look own. Look at the size difference. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the grass type expert, Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon, and you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. I'm about the to facing aspect. many more no, heated really battles against it. gym leaders over just the course of your battle. adventure. We've shown off quite a bit today, but yeah. I have one more video I would like you to see. Yeah, it's probably good. Please take a look. Mm, can't be that bad. Not actual game footage. That's a cracking video. This looks like the legendary. It's just a giant shield. I'm guessing that is a giant sword. Mm. 
I can't see good. What are they doing? Oh, it's the third legendary. Let's have a look. You can't just leave out that. Just show us the third legendary already. The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gala region, called yeah. Sashian and Zamazenta. Why? Let's just look at these names. They've Look forward to something. discovering for yourself just what role Zashian and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokemon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. Mm. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield yeah. will be available on November 15th, oh, 2019. Looks like the cover up's final. Simultaneous release. And starting today, you can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. Why? I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Galar region. Thank you for watching. Here's the thing. I've never, yeah, it's over. I've never had, never had to had the need or urge or anything to buy this. Uh, the other, the latter, the the latter, the former, the other Pokemon game. It's always been one, one Asia. I've never had to really. I never said, oh, I want to play Sapphire now that I played Ruby. I, I never did that. It's it's only for collect. I know it's not going to sell as much as the single game, but. Still gonna be a sale for the game. So that was that. I'm gonna watch the Mortal Kombat combat pack. Um see you guys later. This is alright, I guess. Fifteen minutes felt a bit longer. I don't have much commentary to give. Uh see you guys later.